Good morning. How are you doing? Mark Ash Brownlee. You know Mark Ash Brownlee. He's the man that Will Smith ruined the name of until the day he dies. I can't read Marcus Brownlee and not say Mark Ash Brownlee. And Mark Ash Brownlee. All right, I know I just did, but ignore that shit. Now, call basically, if you, you know who he is. He's the biggest YouTube reviewer of technology. I don't really watch him because I don't give a shit about technology. It's going to kill us and end us all, so I, I think why spoil it? When this thing on the on his nipple wants to take over my body and start controlling me, then I just say go for it, mate. I don't want to know before it happens. But he's basically called the human AI pin, the worst product he has ever fucking reviewed. Oh my... This guy's been around since sliced bread. This guy's been around since Mahatma Gandhi was relevant. This guy is an absolute legend and AI con, and he's finally found the shittest product, bro. I could have given you about 10 in the space of five minutes on the internet, but hey-ho, he's clearly got more money than me and doesn't know where to find the bad shit, but I can help him out. Yeah, fuck it. Let's see what Mark Ass Brownlee has to say. Mark Ass Brownlee. Because he's got in a little bit of trouble because he's actually caused these businesses to basically implode. Look and tell me what this is. Or I'll just do this, I guess. Oof. Rough. So he's basically proven that this piece of technology that you've got strapped to your breast is not worth it. When you can just go onto Google and do that and see what it is. Ah. Oh. It's a Cybertruck. The photo is of a Cybertruck, an electric pickup truck produced by Tesla. Yep. <laughs> So we got it right. But why am I talking about this dude? Well, I don't really know. But the, he's getting a little bit of grief on the internet. Who would have thought having an opinion these days gets you in trouble? It can get you sacrificed to the gods in a gruesome manner. You know, back in the day when Jesus was around, they sacrificed a goat. Not anymore, bro. We sacrifice people. We sacrifice humans. When they, you speak your opinion and say, don't spend your money on this. I'm trying to help you guys. Yeah, save your money. Oh, you're a crap bag. You're a scumbag for trying to help me. How dare you fucking try to help me save money, you dumb piece of turd. You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense this man it's like game reviewers when people review games and they get annoyed saying oh how can you say it's bad you you know this that and he was like it's literally their job uh, 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 you know what i mean like they are trying to save you money you know imagine if all the reviewers of like gotham knight said it was good half of us would have fallen for it now i am one of the idiots who fell for it but because i pre-ordered i was i saw nightwing i saw jason todd and i just thought oh my god i can't not do it but people like this save us money help us so alex finn whoever the fuck this kid is i'm, I'm mark ash brownlee bankrupt to the company in 41 seconds because he said the product was shite, rubbish, which it probably is. And you know, it, oh, breaking news, creators are powerful in 2024 than you think. Bro, everyone knows creators are powerful. You know what I mean? They literally control who people vote for. Joe Biden is so out of ideas and numbers and things to do. He's calling Taylor Swift asking for a bit of a fucking handicap. You know what I mean? All right, so this is the Humane AI pin. It is a brand new product and a really, really interesting form factor of an ultra futuristic wearable computer. So in a time of all these crazy gadgets and Vision Pro and wearable glasses, it's so sick that we get so many genuinely new first generation products like this to give a shot. Unfortunately, it's also the new worst product I think I've ever reviewed. See, there you are. The beauty of this is, you've just heard what you need to hear. Unless you're a rich megalomaniac psychopath who just spends money on shit they don't need because you're a megalomaniac psychopath who just likes flexing on people who are poorer than you. You've got all your answers you need. This guy's a legend. This guy's a hero. He's helping us. Imagine, I remember when I was buying, like, a computer back in the day and, you know, I didn't know what parts to get. I'd log on to influencers. I can't remember if it was him, whoever. They would review the parts, show you what GTA looks like in, with this graphics card. You know what I mean? These guys are saving you money, telling you what the best thing to give is. I feel like I'm doing it. Oh, you've ruined the company. Bruh, you've just sped up the process. It's like someone di If I had cancer, right, the big C, and I was dying, they said, you're going to have a horrible, painful death. It's going to last about five years. You're just going to lose all your money. You're going to look horrible. You're going to be really depressed. Or I'm just going to leave this Glock on the table and you can do what you want with it. I think it's pretty fucking obvious what the answer and the solution to the problem is going to be. You know, I'm not trying to be Mr. Negative Nancy. I, I appreciate that. And look, it might have been a dark, gruesome tale, but I think it expresses the point fantastically. Absolutely fruit so just another fucking weapon, an absolute donkey, an absolute donut. Who is this? Who is this? Daniel. See, it's people like this who shouldn't have power. Eight subscriptions. What morons are paying for this? 172k followers, boys. He's in United States, Washington. Yeah, he looks fucking scary. It looks like he has at least several dead bodies or at least a dead cat in his back garden. So he said this. I find it distasteful, almost unethical to say this when you have 18 million subscribers. Hard to explain why, but with the great reach comes great responsibility. All right, Peter fucking Parker. Jesus Christ. 
like, with great reach comes great responsibility. Let me control you. Yes, if you have a big audience, you should not speak your mind. You should absolutely conform to society's bullshit and lie. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? The President of the United States is never going to go, we are in a shit here, lads. This country is on the downfall. They're always going to be, yeah, we're doing a de- You know, it's gone pretty well. It's gone pretty decent, fisty. Come see, come saw. Not bad, not bad. You know what I mean? When these fuckers are trying to save us and help us, you know, it's like when people change through audiences and shit like that. I hate that. You know what I mean? You should just be yourself. And if money changes your beliefs and personality, then, then I think there's something wrong. You know, and obviously money changes everyone. I'm not saying it doesn't, but you should have the same thoughts. You know what I mean? If you care about helping people and making sure that they know what they're getting before they purchase it, that shouldn't change after. Just because Marcus has got a big bank account and gets sent things all the time doesn't mean, you know, he should lie. It's like, oh, you know, I got sent this, this amazing product by this company who are paying me so much money. It's amazing, by the way. It's amazing. What's it do? Not a right lot, but it's amazing though. It's like AI and, you know, artificial intelligence and like AI and like it does cool futuristic stuff. It's just not quite there yet. You know, it's something like 10 years early. You know what I mean? It's like giving birth to a child that's not been, you know, not ready to come out. What's the point? It's just not going to be, you know, functioning. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, it's terrible. But it's a valid point, you know what I mean? This technology is early days, mate. You should have released this in five years' time. Keep working on it, progressing. Now you've just shitted on your company, giving it to a YouTuber who you think's going to save you. Oh, but Big H. Oh, my God, my hero. Why don't you do a, uh, a breakdown and see what you think? Firstly, no. I ain't buying shit, all right? I don't even like spending money on things I need, like food and clothes. You think I'm going to waste my time on this fake computer that's got an Apple Watch charging dock? Fuck no. But let's check it out. Let's see what it is. AI pin, first Multi-model devices are wearable and easy to use whether you're making calls, sending messages, seeking answers, capturing moments, taking notes, or managing your digital world. So basically, it's like having an extra phone. You know, there's not really any point. All you're doing is sort of saving yourself time by, what, putting your hand in your pocket? You've got to have an audience here. I know people are lazy, but who can't be bothered taking their phone out of their pocket? If you can't be bothered taking the phone out of your pocket, then I seriously hope that this world just implodes immediately because you need to get out of it. It's terrible. I hate this world as well. Your own personal team. AI Ping gives you a team of AI digital assistants on call all the time. You'll research, interpret, and DJ. <laughs> hey, yo, DJ, what song is this, dog? Taylor Swift, Love Story. Yeah, Romeo, save me. No. Stop it, Harrison. You've just exposed yourself. Soon, assist like nutritionist, shopper, another. Soon, not anymore, mate. You've just been ruined by Marcus Brownlee. And Marcus Brownlee. More human experience. A understands you. Just normally remember, ask, answers questions, do something else. You want AI pins off, it's Cosmos. It learns your context, where you are. So basically, it's a location finder. So they were going to basically get big and then sell this to the US government so that they can literally stalk us even more than stalking us on our phones. Because at least on our phones, we can sometimes turn it off with these. I bet we can't. <gasps> Sorry, I just sort of went a bit paranoid for you there. Let's see what happens when we click order. Oh, they they want seven seven hundred dollars for a bit of a nipple protection. Am I am I missing something here? Like the cameras as well. Imagine that they'd stalk everyone. Fuck this, dude. Fuck this. I'm glad this business is folding before it even got started because this is terrible. So you st you got to pay monthly as well. So eight hundred quid, and then by the way, you got to pay twenty four dollars a month, not including taxes, which is very kind of them. You know what I mean? It just stinks to high heaven, this already. Oh my god. No way. You can get, like, cases and bands and shit. That's awesome. No, it's, a, no, it's serious, man. That's real cool. That's real cool. Oh, poor these two. Broken at the first hurdle. Oh, he worked at Apple as well. Well, I'm probably going to be asking for a job back soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a poor chap. Poor guy. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some, mate. And you've taken a very large L. I suppose you must have sent it to Mark Ash Brownlee, though. You know what I mean? I don't think he... You know what I mean? Sent it for a, a cheeky review. Hoping to try to get famous. Well, well played, lads. You've done really well. All these people who joined you are now going to have to go and uh, log in on their LinkedIn pages. That's a lot of people. Poor Mark Ash Brownlee. He's literally crippled a company in 41 seconds. That comment was brilliant, didn't it? Anyway, ladies, gentlemen, kids, boys, girls, whatever you are, thank you. Mark Ash Brownlee did absolutely nothing wrong. He's speaking sense. He's helping us. He's trying to make us save money. If you're a donor and still want to buy it, that's on you, bro. That's on you. Leave a like if you, at any moment, enjoyed your time. And if you didn't, let me know why. Thank Thanks.